Hello, everyone. You made it. It is lesson eight. What's next? So we have come to the end of module one of the Epically Creative Rigid Heddle Weaving course. And in this lesson, you will learn where to find further information in popular weaving books, what you have to look forward to in the next module. Congratulations, you finished module one. Yay! <laughs> I'm over here celebrating with you. If you haven't already, go back and work through each of the lessons, right? So if you just watch through everything and you haven't picked up your loom, I understand you wanted that overview. Now go ahead and go back and, and actually do the work. Create some samples or some yardage of cloth. I promise you on this channel, I will be come having some videos showing you some cool things that you can do with that cloth. But for now, just make some samples and um, you can always just use it as a wall hanging as a visual reference of what you can make um, for your further projects. When you are finished, you can confidently say that you've passed through the aspiring traditional weaver stage and you are a competently curious weaver and you're ready for the next module that will be coming out very soon. More on that in a minute. Now, further reading. You've done this module, but you want to go a little bit deeper. Here are some things that will take you a little bit deeper. Read your user's manual. I know, especially for those of us who are way more right brain people, who does that? I mean, like, doesn't everyone just like get the pieces and try to put them all together and figure out how it, yeah. Read the user's manual. All the looms have their own quirks and idiosyncrasies. And if you read the manual, you'll not only make sure that your loom is the way it's supposed to be together, you'll also be able to find some really cool tips and tricks that can actually help you be more creative in your weaving. Another great useful book to read is Liz Gibson's Weaving Made Easy. And I'll be doing some videos on this channel um, coming up later on in the year where we can look at how we can do creative riffs on patterns that are already out there. I love Liz's um, the things that Liz puts out. They're really helpful, really useful. And um, these can give you a basis for where to start as you are branching out and in, in creating your own projects. So as you're learning what yarns work for what type of projects, it's really helpful to use books and resources that can give you that guidance. And then the more you weave, the more you'll be able to make those decisions by yourself. Another great book is Sign Michael's Inventive Weaving on Little Looms. Um, this book is like the encyclopedia of all things creative and weaving. Um, you just have, it's a lot of great information. And so this is one that you really should have. If you don't have this book, this is one of the ones that you just probably want to invest in. It's just useful to have. And last but not least, Astrid's book of Rigid Head of Weaving by Rowena Hart. This has a real a lot of really great projects. It also has a really nice section in the front of the book about um, creative weaving and even tapestry weaving on a Rigid Head of Loom. So this is another really good book to have in your library if you're a Rigid Head of Weaver. So in this lesson, you learned where to find further information in popular weaving books and you're going to learn in a minute what you have to look forward to in the next module. But before I get to what's in coming up in the next module, I want you to take action now. Go back. If you've already printed out the handout, thank you. Great. Then I just want you to go and fill it out. Fill in the holes, fill in the gaps, try out those skills that you learned in these lessons. And when you're done, take a selfie. Take a selfie with your 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 handout that you have done post it on instagram or wherever that's where i hang out on instagram and hashtag creative weaving basics tag me so i can go and give you a heart leave you some encouragement but better yet wait well i'll do that in a minute but so do that 
And once you do that, once you've gotten that done, you will be ready for module two, playing with yarn. So we've learned the basics. Now it's time to play a little bit more. And that's what we're going to do in our next module. So we're going to learn class weft. We're going to learn woven windows, woven slips, slits, supplemental wefts, and much, much more. It's going to be so much fun in the next module. That will not be out um, for a few, maybe a week or two. I still need to do some editing for that, that particular module. But um, yes, it's coming. So while you're waiting for me to get that ready, go ahead and go back through the lessons and get that done. I again want to invite you to join my weaving community. I've turned my membership kind of inside out. So a lot of times people put all their information in their membership um, and they kind of like put teasers out. I've decided to do something different. I'm going to, I am not even going to, I am putting my information out for the general public and my membership is for those who want to go deeper. So if you're just looking for information, then subscribe to this channel. I'm putting the information out here. I'm putting out um, educational, informative, encouraging videos here on this channel. But if you want to go deeper with me, if you want to go deeper with other people who are going through this information together, then I invite you to join my weaving community. There are several different levels that you can join at that will work with a variety of different budgets, a variety of different interests of participation levels. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to create something that's fun, something that that can bring creative weavers together in a way that we can interact around this information, inspire, support, and encourage each other. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just like going out on faith and, and I figure that, you know, you can help, I can help people and those who want to help me and support me and what I'm doing, you can do that by joining my community and supporting me in that way. All right, y'all, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you learned from the video. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe. I don't understand why haven't you subscribed to the channel already. Ring the notification bell so you know when I put out more videos and share this video. There is somebody out there who this information could help. This series could help. Um, and so go ahead and share the video. And we're going to grow the world of creative rigid heddle weaving. And um, yeah, it's so much more fun. It's so much more fun when we have more people doing this together. All right, y'all. That's it for this video. That's it for this series. And I will be busy behind the scenes getting module two ready to be put out. Until then, I'll see you in the comments on Instagram, and hopefully I'll see some of you in the community. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.